What's up YouTube.com? I'm here with some tricks and tips for the Mage Wall Pro Capture HDMI that I decided not to put in my review as they are more useful for those that currently own a card as opposed to those contemplating getting one. They are mostly for Linux users of the card, but my deinterlacing steps apply to every platform. The first thing I'll cover are the useful programs included in the SDK for Linux. First, you'll need to download the Linux SDK from Majewell's website. Then, save it and extract it to a place you'll remember. Open the folder and run the installer.sh script, which compiles the SDK programs. Note that this installer script is designed to run on Ubuntu only, so you will need to do some fiddling to get this to work on other distros. Make files and the source code are provided, so you probably can make it work. Once the installer runs, the programs will be placed in the bin folder of the SDK directory. There are several programs in this folder, most of which are CLI, and I'll go over all the relevant ones, first with the ones I've used. The MWCAP audio set and MWCAP video set are programs that allow you to easily pick the audio input source and the video input source respectively. MWCAP upgrade is a firmware upgrade utility, which is pretty useful and I'm not sure why it isn't available outside the SDK. MWCAP low latency allows you to get a reading of video capture latency, and MWCAP low latency GUI allows you to see both the normal and low latency mode at the same time. NWCAP V4L2 is a program that lets you view the input of your card and is my preferred way to play off the capture card. Other notable programs included with the SDK include the NWCAP Audio Capture and NWCAP Video Capture programs with self-explanatory names, and NWCAP Multiview, which I assume allows you to view inputs from multiple Magewell cards. You can, of course, install any of these programs somewhere into your shell path if you find any of them useful enough to run over and over. Personally, I have MWCAT V4L2 and the video and audio settings programs in my path in symlink form. While we're on the topic of shortcuts, I also have created another form of shortcuts, bash aliases, for using this card to do things like quickly toggle settings on and off. Shown on screen and in the description are these aliases for quick and easy copy and paste usage. For example, for MWCAP info, the only command you really need is the all info command. Toggling low latency mode is a useful alias, and toggling the deinterlacing modes is something I also frequently do. And if you're going to follow my steps for deinterlacing in OBS and Linux, I recommend setting up these aliases as well. Note that weave deinterlace means no deinterlacing, which is not intuitive if you don't know that already. Finally, I have aliases for all combinations of 30 and 60 FPS and 4x3 and 16x9 aspect previews for the MWCAP V4L2 program for easy previewing of any game. Note that if you just copy and paste my aliases, make sure the video device number is correct. Mine is 1 since I have a webcam as well. Now I'll cover how to use the interlacing in OBS with this card, as I feel it isn't the most intuitive. These steps should apply to all operating systems. For example, if we want to deinterlace Super Smash Bros. on Nintendo 64 with the Yacht FX2, which I highly recommend, you can't just select it and go. First, we'll need to open the device properties in OBS and manually set the resolution. For any console that is not the Xbox for interlaced video, Games are at the 480i res, referring to the vertical resolution, so the full resolution is 640x480. For Xbox, there are some 1080i games, which means they are at the 1920x1080 resolution. These exact resolutions are important to remember, but if you do forget what res your video input is, you can just use the MWCAP info program to check. Next, we'll need to disable the built-in deinterlacing using NWCAP control under Linux, and under the device property dialog in Windows. Now this is important, I said to do this step after we set the resolution in OBS, since for some reason interacting with the card settings in OBS seems to reset the settings, so any video settings from MWCAP control must be set after messing with it in OBS. After you've done this, whatever deinterlacing mode you pick in OBS will work just fine. You should be able to see the difference immediately upon motion occurring. Finally, I'll talk about my experience with playing off the preview of this card and how I recommend doing it. 
will use all the previous things I talked about in this video. Now you do have a wide variety of programs to view this card under Linux, anything that can view a V4L2 device aside from VLC in my experience, but personally I prefer using NWCAT V4L2 since it is the simplest for me to use. Mplayer is a solid option as well, however. The biggest hurdle I found is playing the video and the audio from the card at the same time in the same app. Most preferably when I can make an extra audio output reach, I actually just use the sheet full of 2 to handle the audio. But for anything that's not the Wii U where I can make it reach, I need to use the app approach. While you can do this in mplayer, it is very inconsistent for me. When I have first tried it, it lagged the video badly. In this recording, it does seem to be fine. But 10 minutes earlier when I was trying to use it, the audio was lagging behind by a few seconds for some reason. The solution that I use is using Pulse Audio Loopback to listen to my game consoles. Where Loopback is basically a way to take an audio input and let it play out your speakers or whatever your audio output device is. While I won't fully explain using Loopback, Ask Ubuntu and other sites can help, and in the description I've linked some resources, as well as my aliases for Loopback. Note that you'll have to modify the aliases for your computer, and important is the latency setting. Using the MWCAT V4L2 program with the appropriate aspect ratio and audio loopback for sound is a good experience in my opinion. The only hiccup I have is with deinterlacing, as MWCAT V4L2 offers no built-in deinterlacing. Mplayer does have deinterlacing options, but there is an Ubuntu-specific problem, where my options are more limited than they should be as the MCDint filter is not available in Ubuntu for some reason, and I'd have to manually compile to get it. OBS is a bit too heavyweight for just previewing, although it works out for me when I'm streaming and playing off the card at the same time. If you really want simplicity, you could just roll with the built-in blend deinterlacing and use any app, but it isn't the best fit for all games. On the other side of the coin, if you're a Windows user, I believe the Amarok TV can play the video and the audio from the card at the same time and handle deinterlacing. So hopefully this video was useful for those of you using Magewell capture cards. Personally, I've enjoyed using mine to add a huge number of games to play through on my livestream, and if there's anything I missed or any other questions you may have, be sure to let me know. Thanks for watching, peace out, bye.